Good morning, students. This is Kajunas again in front of you, and here comes to you a new video on a new topic that is on your third lesson. Okay, so tools of word processor. So here uh, are only three topics in this uh, video, and afterwards uh, your uh, syllabus has to be fully completed. And after you have to just simply learn the exercises of the uh, all question answer question uh, sorry all the lessons. Okay, you have to just simply learn the only exercises. Okay, and uh, some between of the lessons also. Okay. So there are some questions uh, which are just in between of the lesson and from the exercise. So you have to learn both of them. Okay. And after that, uh, the many of the students have a doubt that uh, sir, this question answer are just coming in the uh, paper. So I will just simply say no. Question answers are not allowed in the quarterly examination 2020. Okay, which are just moving on. So you have to just simply learn the exercise and read the read the lesson very carefully. Okay, so basically the question type, the format is to be like objective type. Okay, so there is a question and afterwards so there are four options by which you can just select only the correct answer and after that you have to just write in your notebook the correct answer. Okay, and after that click a picture of that uh, answer sheet and upload to the website and then submit your answer sheet. Okay, and afterwards your answer sheet will submit to the school website and afterwards we will check out okay so uh, we are discussing about uh, the process or the format of the uh, uh, format of how to just simply uh, uh, hold the exam or complete the exam via online system so in this video we are going to just simply uh, get a overview um, on these three topics the first one is using the undo and redo command okay and after that check the spelling and grammar okay now the third is using thesaurus okay so this is very important the third point is very important so don't skip the video just simply watch step by step solution and step by step points so that you can get the uh, whole information about these three topics so let's get started with our first topic but first of all i am just simply remembering you that uh, if you are a new viewer in my channel then first of all you have to subscribe my channel press the bell icon select all from the list so that you can get the notification of my video time to time okay because i just simply upload uh, the videos in the morning so you have to just simply get a notification over there in your notification area of your mobile or even in the laptop also so just simply subscribe or press the bell icon okay so the first topic is using undo and redo command so microsoft word keep track of all the changes that we make in a document okay means suppose uh, by mistake these two commands uh, where is my chalk so these two commands undo and redo so these two commands are used for the mistake just a simple mistake given by the user okay suppose we are typing uh, uh, over a document and suppose i have just simply deleted a paragraph no no suppose i have selected the text or selected a paragraph for uh, copying or deleting or other for, uh, for other purpose suppose i wanted to copy or cut that uh, text from there and move from move from there to any other places but suddenly i just simply select the paragraph after that i uh, suddenly i just simply press the backspace key or the delete button uh, by mistake then you can use the undo or the redo command so that you can get back your all the data which you have written in the in your document in ms wordpad 2010 okay so we can easily undo any change and restore the original text okay as i told you that if you are supposed it, uh, these commands are just simply used when we are uh, uh, just simply uh, having a mistake over there in our document. Okay, if there is any mistake over there in our document, uh, suddenly a sudden accident uh, uh, happening in the in our document when we are just simply typing, then we have to use these type of commands so that we can just simply get back the original text over there. Okay, so. The first part is undo. What is undo? So this is the uh, this is the reserve. Sorry, reverse. Uh, this option reverses the effect of the last command to reverse one or more than uh, one action. Click on the undo button present on the quick access toolbar. Okay. So, may suppose I have simply selected uh, this paragraph. Okay, the whole uh, 
that's why you want the whole pair, the whole land that is simply selected. And when we are simply selected the, uh, anything in the computer or in a document, it will just simply highlight by blue color. And after highlighting it, uh, okay, suppose I have to simply perform to copy this uh, line over there, and after I have to just simply make a duplicate from here to here. But uh, suddenly I will just simply press any other key like backspace, enter, or any other key I just simply enter, but not the command. Not the command I give, I just simply uh, suddenly by mistake I just simply press any other key, then this whole line will vanish from the original position. Okay, so if I uh, there are two ways. Either I will simply type all the, the full line, but it will take some time. Okay, either I will give a command uh, for undo my all the information which I just simply entered in the document. So I just simply uh, press that command Control plus Z, and afterwards I will, I will just simply uh, get my data back over there, so that I can just simply uh, save my time. Okay. So after that, uh, and also if you wanted to one or more uh, undo commands over there, uh, with the help of Control plus Z, okay, you can get only one command back, okay. But if you want uh, two or three command, uh, two or three commands, so that you uh, the previous or more than the previous uh, data will also get back, then you have to just simply go over the go over the quick access toolbar and you have to just find the undo button over there, and you have to press uh, that much uh, that much time. Uh, where you want to, whatever you want to, we get back or restore your text. So the number of times you click the button, the data will just simply get back to the original position. Okay, whichever data is simply suddenly uh, mistaken or uh, just removed or vanished by you by mistake. Okay, so you can get back to data with the help of undo command by pressing the command key like Control plus Z or by pressing the undo button over the quick access toolbar. Now after that the redo, what is the redo command? So redo is for to reverse the action of undo command, click on the redo button. Suppose if you don't want that line over there, then you have to just simply press the redo button like Control plus Y. Okay, for undo, I have just simply written here, for undo, press C, T, R, L plus Z. Okay, for redo, C, T, R, L plus Y. Okay, so these are the two commands by which you can just simply get, uh, sorry, uh, these are the two commands. I just simply had that, uh, so uh, by mistake. So you have to just simply um, learn these two commands by which you can just simply get your data back to your original position. Okay, suppose if you wanted uh, that uh, the uh, this data is supposed to be vanished from the original position and you want to get back that data, then you just simply press Ctrl plus Z key. Okay, only one time you can uh, get uh, get back your data very quickly. Okay, uh, it, will, it, it is very responsive. Okay, responsive. So it, when you simply uh, press these two keys uh, combination, you will get back your data here. And if you don't want that data uh, here, suppose you uh, will find you will get that, that you will find your new document, new command, then you will just simply press Ctrl plus Y so that it will again change and it will again vanish from here. Okay. So it will reverse the undo command. Okay. The redo command is just simply for to use to reverse the undo command not any other changes okay now here i can just simply say this uh, person or the user is just simply selected this uh, three uh, two and a half line and afterwards by mistake uh, after the delete action okay by mistake or uh, suppose uh, he wants to delete that data or the text or the information written over the document so he just simply press the delete key but uh, after some time you will uh, think that uh, that data is very essential or important for that document so it will just simply press the control plus z key so that the undo command is active and afterwards you will on the just simply press it by uh, pressing the these keys combination you will get your data back over a few in a few seconds okay like uh, not in a one second it will uh, take less than one second time 
okay, and you don't uh, hold the text, you just simply get back to you, okay. But if you wanted to, uh, if you uh, if you just simply watch that this data is getting too much space or uh, the it will be creating some problem over the, in that document, then you just simply use the do command, that is the purpose why, again, it will happen that the all data which is just simply vanished in the previously by mistake, it will again vanish from the original position, okay. Now, the second topic is checking spelling and grammar, okay. So, like this, uh, this is an autocorrect feature by which you can just simply get a professional look over there. Suppose you are typing, uh, many of the spellings, uh, uh, likewise we are not getting to know about the spellings of that particular word. So, the wordpad is uh, promoting this one by uh, just simply, uh, suppose I have written the spelling of uh, uh, like uh, uh, suppose uh, I am uh, the spelling of grammar like G R A M M E R. Okay, this is a wrong spelling. But what happened? The computer, the computer system or the WordPad promotes so that it will just simply have a squeezy line over there. Okay, this is a type of a line like a squeezy line over there and which will uh, in a different color like. Red, blue, or the green line. Okay. The red line uh, uh, just simply uh, shows the spelling problem. Okay. If there is a spelling problem or the spelling mistake, uh, the red line will just simply discuss about the uh, mistake of the word. Okay. Suppose you are likewise this. The grammar spelling is not right. Okay. So you have to just simply uh, place the cursor here, and after that, you have to just simply erase this. Okay, and afterwards, you have to write the AR. When you type AR, this line will vanish over, uh, just under form it. Okay, it will just simply automatically uh, it will vanish from there. Okay, so I am just simply going to start with that the topic using spelling and grammar option. So, Word has a built-in dictionary and set a, a set of grammatical rules uh, to check the spelling and grammar of a text document. Okay, whatever you have written in the Word 2010, it has a it has a in built uh, dictionary over there. So <coughs> when you type a word over there, it will just simply uh, check the spelling of all the uh, words so that uh, when you are just simply typing the word, it will not uh, get incorrect. Okay, suppose I am typing a paper of course of quarterly examination and uh, there are several mistakes over there, but when I just simply finish my uh, typing, afterwards I have just simply check all the papers and where the blue lines, blue squeezy lines or red squeezy lines or green squeezy, uh, squeezy lines are present in my document, I just simply check there, that afterwards I will just simply change these all the lines or correct my text over there so that you can get the right paper in your examination. Okay, so after this incorrectly spelled word are displayed with a single like this single red wavy line under them. Okay, so there are there is a red wavy line when the spelling is wrong. Okay, the grammatical error are indicated with a green. Line. Suppose I will simply uh, uh, suppose I will simply, uh, simply stand up boy and after that I will simply say that uh, you are a very good boy. But this is a correct word, okay? But I uh, I type in computer document that you is you is an very good boy. Okay, and I place question mark over there. Okay, so there are several mistakes in this sentences. Like uh, with the you, you can use you are not supposed to use this. Okay, in place of this, you have to use R. Okay, and uh, V is a consonant, not a vowel. Okay, V is a consonant. So uh, in front and uh, in just in the head part of the very, you can use only A in place of N. Okay. And after that, there is also a problem with the question mark because this is not a, uh, 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 sorry, uh, this is not a question sentence, so you are, you are not supposed to use the question mark, you can use 
only the full stop over there. So these are the mistakes by which it will just simply when I will just simply type this uh, sentence in the word pad, it will just simply uh, is, uh, uh, just simply uh, give art underline green underline green is squeezy underline over, uh, just under the text over there. So I get uh, I get my mistake over there and I just simply change. Uh, change that mistake so that uh, you can get all the text over there very correctly okay so these the grammatical mistakes are just simply highlighted by green color green wavy line okay now after this uh, the spell check start from the position of the cursor and check the complete document a simple method to check the spelling of any word is to follow these steps okay Suppose I just simply write here grammar, okay. But I, I think that uh, suppose, okay. Suppose I don't know the spelling of grammar, and I will just simply, uh, uh, I have a doubt over there that uh, my grammar spelling is uh, right or wrong. So I have to simply check the spelling of the grammar in the uh, dictionary over in the Word Pad 2010 by following these steps. So you can just simply also check the spelling over there. That that is. Uh, corrected or not if it is corrected then nothing is the problem if it is not corrected then there is a squeezy line over there or a baby line over there with the red color or blue color or a green color so if the red color is there then there is a uh, spelling problem if there is a green line over there then it is a grammatical problem if there is a blue blue line over there then the problem of also like uh, when you are just just like this when I write the first letter of the uh, sentence, it will just simply uh, uh, with capital Y, okay, not the small Y. So I will use the uh, Y as small. So it will contain a uh, blue line over there uh, in the in just under the U, U text, okay. So after this, by following these steps, you can get uh, you, you know, all the uh, spellings or grammar or the spells of the words over there in the dictionary you can get checked uh, the, all the spells of the words that it is uh, correct or not so the first step is to write down on the word underline with the red baby line suppose i have simply there is a problem or there is a doubt over there that what is the spelling what is the correct spelling suppose i want, I want to know that uh, what is the correct spelling of grammar that i have to simply place the cursor uh, in between the word after that i will just simply press right click over the mouse okay after pressing the right click over the mouse i got a context menu over there so a shortcut menu open displaying various suggestions okay so over the word when i just simply click the right uh, on, on the word i will get a context menu with all the suggestions related to the grammar spelling okay after the uh, grammar spelling i got in the suggestions box i just choose the right word that is uh, suggested by the word pad. Okay. After that, select the correct spelling from the suggestion list. Okay. Just I have just got a suggestion list over there, and after just find the uh, I have just find the correct spelling of the grammar, and after that I have just choose that spelling, and after that I will find the squeezy line or the wavy line in just under the word. It will just simply vanish from there, and my word is to be corrected. Okay. The spelling of my word is corrected now. Now Microsoft Word automatically replace the incorrect spelling with the selected options. Okay. There is an option of autocorrect also. Suppose you are typing a, a wrong word or an incorrect word, the wordpad is just simply get to know that the what the user wants and according to need, it will change that word uh, up into a correct word. Okay, suppose I will simply write the grammar spelling wrong and the WordPad 2010 has promoted a new feature over there and it will just simply change that word the, suppose this is an incorrect word it will, the incorrect word is just simply changed by the correct word automatically I have to just I am not supposed to use these steps over there okay so this is a very uh, very better feature over there in the WordPad 2010 now the next feature and the very important feature is that using thesaurus okay Using Thesaurus gives a professional look of, uh, of that uh, particular uh, uh, text uh, over the document because uh, this will give 
using a synonyms or the antonyms of that particular word. Suppose you are using a different word. So, uh, you are uh, suppose you are you have, you have to simply present a document uh, to me, and I want uh, the words very uh, very uh, uh, special words over there. Okay. I don't uh, suppose you are uh, you are using type that uh, uh, in a document that you are very good boy, but uh, in case of very, okay, you can use another word, another synonym of very or any another name of uh, uh, very, uh, antonyms of very you can use also, okay, by the using of this picture using thesaurus. So, thesaurus help us to improve our vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms. What is synonym? Synonyms, word with similar meaning, okay. Like uh, uh, in the Hindi subject, there are uh, there is a uh, thing uh, like uh, uh, similar words. Okay, so words with similar meanings. Uh, likewise, Parya uh, Vachu Okay, so likewise Parya Vachu Shabd. We can just simply uh, told it. Uh, uh, what is that? Synonyms. Okay, so synonyms is just like a similar meaning. Okay, similar meaning of that word. The word is uh, another, another, but the meaning of that uh, word is quite similar to that uh, particular word which I use. Likewise, I use very word, but if, uh, in case of very, I use uh, another word. By uh, that word also gives the same sound or uh, not the same sound, uh, just same meaning over there in the document. So, or and the antonyms. What is the antonym? Antonym is like the opposite words. Okay. Like in a Hindi subject, it is called as Vilomsa. Okay, so you have to use antonyms also for any word. Okay, suppose I wanted to use a synonym or antonym or over there, I have to just simply use, I have to just place the cursor in between the uh, word and after that I have to simply press the right click over there and I got a list uh, of that and afterwards I just simply find the uh, synonyms or the antonyms of that particular word. Or there are some steps over there, so you can just simply use that thesaurus feature. So, by following these steps to use thesaurus, select the word for which you wanted to find synonyms or antonyms. Suppose I wanted to find the synonym or, uh, or the antonyms of that particular word that is very happy to simply select that word. And when I just simply select that word, it is just simply highlighted by blue color. And after it is uh, it will highlighted, I will know uh, what to do. Now the next is click on the review tab. Okay, after you simply find the review tab over there, and after that uh, select the thesaurus feature, thesaurus option in the proofing group. Okay, there is a group over there. You have to just simply select the proofing group, and after that you have to find there is a uh, feature that is thesaurus. And after that uh, the research task pane open, displaying the synonym and the antonyms of that particular word which you have simply selected or highlighted by blue color. Okay, in the right pane you got the synonyms or the antonyms of that particular word which is selected by you or which you wanted to be get a another name of that particular word. Okay, so after that move the mouse pointer, I'm uh, sorry, not the mouse, it's mouse pointer. I just simply, uh, it's um, uh, slip, slip of my turn. Okay, so move the mouse pointer to the suitable word. Click on the drop down menu which I present in the on the its right side and select the insert option. The existing word will be replaced with the selected ones. Suppose I just simply uh, there is a list over there and I will just simply find the appropriate word for that uh, for my document and and uh, like a another special word uh, that. No one just simply listen that word I just simply use so that I will just simply give a professional look of my text over, over in the document. So I just simply select that word that is very and after that I have just simply uh, uh, go in the review tab and uh, the proofing group and select the thesaurus option and after that have, there is a right pen over in the uh, just over the, just beside the uh, text or the page and after that over the document and after that I have just Select or choose or scroll down the list that is get uh, by that feature, and after that, I have to simply find find the synonym. Suppose I wanted to find the synonym, I have to just simply find the synonym of that particular word. Suppose I wanted to uh, antonym of that particular word, which I have to just simply use in the 
document uh, oh, so I will just simply find the, the antonyms or the synonyms from that list and I will just simply choose the appropriate word which I have to use in my document in my sentence and after that I will simply click uh, by the left button in the mouse and after that uh, after selecting that word you can just also click on the insert button when you click on, uh, over the insert button you can uh, realize or observe that the very word is changed by the selected word that you selected okay so by this feature you give a very professional look to your document over there and after that uh, you will get a very very professional look okay so these are some tools of word processor by which you can just simply get uh, a very professional look to your document uh, nothing else over there okay in your previous classes you got uh, to know about the word pad uh, are little features but in this class you get more features of that word pad very in very detail so uh, students this is a finish uh, and after that i wanted to just simply again i am saying that if you are a new viewer in my channel then first of all you have to just simply subscribe my channel press the bell icon and select all from the list so that you can get the notification of my video very firstly and the friends, those who do, doesn't complete their work, uh, you have to just simply go over the Google Classroom and after that you have to just simply press the, sorry, not the press, you have to just simply go over the Google Classroom and uh, select that particular task or the lesson and all the exercises and the questions are just simply be loaded in the Google Classroom and you just simply complete the work and so you click a picture of that work and send it to my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is also preloaded to the Google Classroom. You can get my number from there. And if there is any query or any problem or any related doubt in the computer subject or any uh, part of the all the lesson from lesson one, lesson two, or lesson three, you can just simply contact to me. My number is there. Okay. So students, stay tuned with me and my channel. Goodbye.